Stage three then is autoimmune disease. This is where you have enough tissue destruction that you actually qualify for medical diagnosis of autoimmune disease. The example would be, say, multiple sclerosis. Early stage multiple sclerosis, you might have some numbness, tingling, but if you do an MRI of the brain, you might see no lesions in the brain, but you're already experiencing symptoms because it just hasn't chewed up enough brain tissue to show up on an MRI, right? Addison's disease, which is an autoimmune disease of the adrenal gland, where your immune system attacks the adrenal gland, so your adrenal gland loses the ability to make adrenal hormone. This is a life-threatening disease. Now, for you to get diagnosed with Addison disease, you have to have at least 70% destruction of the adrenal gland before a diagnosis is actually rendered. Now, who the heck wants to wait till 70% of the adrenal gland is destroyed before they get a diagnosis and treatment? Anybody? Anybody want to wait until you're 70% gone? And then they say, ah, you are finally sick. As if it's a black and white pass or fail when you cross a certain line, now all of a sudden you have a disease. No, disease don't develop that way. It develops progressively, right? It's many, many shades of gray. But in the medical setting, it's like black or white. They're waiting for a specific point. 